Hello everybody, today I have this GD15 engine, this specific engine is a 2010, um, the problem that this engine has is that it has fuel in the coolant, you can see there's a lot of fuel coming down uh, to the frame, um, and you see the cap over here, uh, and we can see a lot of fuel marks on the coolant cap, and you can see all that, see the seal is all messed up. Um, so, there is fuel in the coolant, it's really hard to see it, but there is the fuel, you can see the drops over here, they're pure fuel, and they smell like fuel, so, um, in this case I will need to replace the injector caps, seals inside the head, uh, if you want to know how to do that job, you can check the video description below for my video about that uh, injector cap replacement. I, uh, I explain details about how to replace that. Um, but in this case, I just wanted to show you how it looks like when the uh, coolant has fuel. As you can see, you're gonna see this mark over here. See, the coolant looks kind of darker because the top area is fuel, it's pure fuel. In some cases, the fuel is gonna be in a higher amount and you will see that the coolant is below and the fuel is on top. In this case, we can see that, see that's the fuel and below that, that's the coolant. The fuel is moving, as you can see when I put my finger, but the coolant is below here. So that's the way you're gonna notice then the fuel is on the coolant system. I just wanted to show you that so because I, I, I received some comments about people asking how do you know when the coolant has fuel. So this is the way you know when the coolant has fuel. You can see my hand all oily because it's fuel. And it is not dark as you can see as when the coolant gets oil. Gets oil uh, when the coolant gets oil, it gets dark, but in this case it gets clear because the uh, fuel cleans everything up. So, this is the way you want to notice. In my other video, I replaced the injector sleeves or the injector caps um, because they were leaking coolant to the fuel. In this case, the fuel is leaking to the coolant. So the coolant system is fully contaminated with oil, so in this case I will need to clean the coolant system. So if you want to know how to uh, clean the coolant system, uh, you can check my other video uh, at the description below where I clean the coolant, uh, the coolant system because the oil was contaminated in the coolant system. Uh, so by the process to clean the coolant system with fuel is very similar. It, it, uh, in reality, it's easier because the fuel is easier to clean uh, than the oil. In this case, there is no coolant in the fuel, so the fuel system is completely clean. Only the coolant system is the one that is completely filled with fuel. So, um, but still, it's pretty much the same problem. So, I wanna remove everything and then I wanna um, start the engine. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you, just to demonstrate you how the fuel in the coolant looks like on a DC15 ending. Um, if you have any questions about this video, you can comment below and I can answer them as soon as I can. Uh, if you have any opinions, any recommendations, any you know, suggestions, you can uh, comment below and share your opinions, suggestions, recommendations with everybody. If you would like to send some support to my channel, you can check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.